Well, how's it going? I'm Mark Duffy. Welcome to my channel. And on today's episode, I'm going to be answering the question I get quite often on Instagram. Will you do a best of Duffers Choose the Tips? Why not? Let's do it today. Roll those titles. So for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, Duffers Tuesday Tips, every Tuesday I run a Q&A on my story for about an hour or two hours where you ask any question you want and I will answer. It can be about graphic design, drumming, photography, anything at all. You can even submit in compliments. I love when people submit in compliments. So what I've done right now is I've just gone through kind of the last couple of weeks, maybe possibly the last month and I've just... Uh, save the videos down from my Instagram story and I'm going to share them with you right now. So let's get into this and let's see what kind of questions I get. Starting off Duffer's Choose a Tip, so a little difference, drumming questions, I like it. The best YouTube channels that I love the most are Mike Johnson's, mikeslessons.com and uh, Drumio. you can check them out here. Savage, savage uh, lessons there. I recommend two cameras, the Sony A6000 or the Canon 250D. It gives you a little bit of wiggle, wiggle room in your budget for getting lenses, tripods, filters. When it comes to um, laptops, you really should be looking around 1200 to get a decent editing uh, laptop. Weeks, I wish. Six months. I spent six months recording it. Um, I used 36 hours of footage. It took me 24 hours to edit it over five days. And I still have 24 hours of footage unused. So this is my Dundalk time lapse that I just hit 100,000 views on YouTube. Go check it out. The hyperlapse part of it, I had it on a monopod and every 10 seconds it was taking a photo. And in between the 10 seconds, I would move the monopod uh, forward a foot and line it up with the same spot every time. Now that's the shots that went forward. So the Marshall Shopping Center, I focused on the sign and every 10 seconds I moved a foot, I think it was, for 45 minutes. The ones where I went around in a circle, I had an egg timer that does that. It takes two hours to go around 360 and just use that. I'm quite partial to an hour like Cuhullin's Castle or Roach Castle and um, I really like the photos I got of Pro Lake Dolmen but there's just days I'd be like oh you know what like, like at the minute I would love a snow scene of Pro Lake Dolmen. That's how you start a Duffer's Tuesday Tips with a compliment for the Duffer. But in all seriousness, I am delighted that you did enjoy the book. And after COVID and all, hopefully you can get out and visit some of the, sp the places uh, highlighted in the book. Put that down as a compliment. He loves Duffers Choose the Tips. Um, nature photography, all types. Wow. Keeping it general. <laughs> I like it. Um, polarizer, basically. Yeah, keep the vibrance in, this, in the forests. I will admit, sometimes I do get quite ambitious questions coming into me in the fact that I have 15 seconds to answer these questions. So uh, let's see a couple of examples of that. Wow, someone's a tad bit ambitious that I'm going to be able to answer this in 15 seconds. So the best thing to do is go onto YouTube and search high frequency separation. That's what I use for doing skin retouching. Just so everyone knows what we're talking about, mechanical shutter versus electronic shutter. I don't know what the depreciation comment is about there. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I've used electronic shutter once. It's really great on Fuji X-T3, 30 frames a second, but you get rolling shutter if you move left or right. So I don't use it. Oh, now to explain rolling shutter. So in electronic shutter mode, it scans a sensor from top to bottom. So if you move at all, what happens is, say there's light, it, it scans the first part, but by the time it gets to the bottom, you've moved and now you've got a slanted light. No one likes that. Self-taught, and then I did a web design course when I was you know, I was unemployed and I, was, I went with FOSS. And get this, they sent me to commute all the way into very posh Kalini for six months, six fucking months. But it got me work in boy sports and it went from there. I also want to say this as well, apart from this stupid commute from Dundalk to Kalini Station and from Kalini Station to Lachlan's Town Fall Centre, which was a nightmare in the snow, they were doing an Adobe Associate course on Dreamweaver. Nobody uses Dreamweaver for web designing. It's shit. But if I show you, then it's no longer my signature then, isn't it? Mm, granny's recipe. Granny's recipe. I tell you what, if you all help me grow to 10,000 subs on YouTube, to celebrate that, I'll teach the signature glow. Promise. Then in other cases, I get quite silly questions. There's no point in putting it any other way. Some of these questions are dumb. <laughs> you see, it's all about leveling up the playing field. No one would actually believe that you could have such good looking hair, a beard, and then be talented. No, 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 no. So you get one or the other. So you get hair and no beard or beard and no hair. 
Thank you, Tony. This is a boomerang. <laughs> Fool you. Well, since I'm stuck in a desert island, I think I might start with the Banoffee pie and finish with a Black Forest Gatto if I was really being choosy. But all honesty, there's going to be no electricity. So what's the point in having a camera? Drum kit, you don't need batteries for that thing. I just had my compliment jar ready for you. It's actually not a jar, it's a, it's a, I don't know what it is actually. It's for the front of one of my new lights, but anyway. Um, look, I hope that my advice does help people and that other people who aren't into photography find it entertaining and a bit of a laugh. Now, if you do want to take part in this, every Tuesday I run this, so I open the questions up in the morning on the Tuesday. It could be any time when I get out of bed or if I remember to do it. Sometimes I forget. Today I forgot to do it, so um, I think it was lunchtime before I actually announced. But you submit in your questions and then I'll answer at 9 o'clock that night. And you can continue to submit in questions as well. So sometimes I get a lot of last minute Larry's asking questions at 11 o'clock just as I'm trying to maybe finish up and go in and chat to my wife before she goes to bed for work the next day so you can definitely join in at any stage at all and it is supposed to be entertaining and it is supposed to be educational and just fun all around and I've been doing it for nearly two years now and I'm loving it every time I do it I just love it I, I actually have this kind of lighting setup. I'm going to be running this lighting setup that I have right now to, in tonight's episode. So if you want to check out tonight's episode, head on over to my Instagram. Um, we'll leave it at that. This, this literally, again, like I said, a little bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and ring that bell and check me out on Instagram and all the other social medias. And I'll see you at nine o'clock tonight for Duffer's Choose the Tips. And if not, I'll see you next week for the next YouTube video. Later Gators.